OK, so in this video, we're going to work through these four uh, differential equations using the method of separation of variables. And in each case, we've been given a coordinate uh, that the original curve goes through. And so we need to find the particular solution in each of these cases. So for number one, we've got dy by dx equals x times y cubed. So I'm going to divide both sides by the y cubed first, leave the dy where it is, and multiply both sides by the dx. OK, then integrate both sides. So this left-hand side, the 1 over y cubed, is the same as y to the minus 3. So adding 1 to the power, dividing by the new power, we're going to get y to the minus 2 over minus 2 is equal to 1 half x squared plus c. So what I might do at this stage is to multiply everything through by minus 2 to leave me with y to the minus 2 is equal to, um, what are we going to get? We're going to get minus x squared. And minus 2 times c is just another constant, so let's replace that with a. So I can write that as 1 over y squared is equal to a minus x squared. And if I wanted to, I could then write that as y squared is equal to 1 over a minus x squared. Now, I probably wouldn't want to square root at this stage because that's going to bring in a plus minus. OK, so I kind of want to avoid that. So that's my general solution. And now I want to find the particular solution. So that's substituting in the coordinates 1, 1 to work out the value of a. So at 1, 1, we're going to get 1 squared is equal to 1 over a minus 1 squared. So in other words, a minus 1 has to be 1. And so a would have to be 2. So the general solution would be y squared equals 1 over 2 minus x squared. That's my particular solution. OK, so that's question number one. Let's have a look at question number 2. So dy by dx equals e to the 2x over y. So now to get the y onto the left-hand side, I'd multiply both sides by the y. The dy stays where it is. And then I can multiply both sides by the dx, like so, and then integrate. So the y will integrate to 1 half y squared. And the e to the 2x will integrate to a half e to the 2x plus a constant of integration c. Multiply through everything by 2. OK. And so at this point, I would then substitute in the 0, 4. OK. I won't bother square rooting for the same reasons we did in the previous example. So substituting 0, 4, we're going to get 4 squared. So 16 is equal to e to the 0, which is just 1, plus a. So a would be 15. So whereas that was the general solution, the particular solution would be y squared equals e to the 2x plus 15. OK, so that's how we can do question number two. Question number three, uh, dy by dx equals y plus 1 over x plus 1. So if I divide both sides by the y plus 1, the dy stays where it is. And I can multiply both sides by the dx, like so. And then I want to integrate both sides. OK, so 1 over y plus 1 will integrate to log of y plus 1. And the 1 over x plus 1 will integrate to log of 1 over x. Oh, sorry, not 1 over. Log of x plus 1. Apologies. Plus c, the constant of integration. OK? So 
I'd probably leave that there. I wouldn't bother simplifying it. Um, let's substitute in the 2, 3. Of course, this choice about whether to simplify it or not really depends on what the question is asking. Is the question asking me to put it into a particular format or not? So substituting in 2, 3, I'm going to get log of 3 plus 1, so log of 4, is equal to log of 2 plus 1, so log of 3, plus c. Now, I know from that that um, c would be log 4 take away log 3, which is log of 4 thirds. So, whereas that was the general solution, um, we've got log of y plus 1 is equal to log of x plus 1 plus log of 4 thirds. Now, what I'm seeing there is I, I really want to go ahead and simplify this now, because um, I can combine those two logarithms using log laws. So that's log of 4 thirds times x plus 1. So 4 thirds x plus 4 thirds. Then I can get rid of the logs. So it just leaves with y plus 1 equals 4 thirds x plus 4 thirds. Then take the 1 from both sides. And I get left with y equals 4 thirds x plus 1 third. OK, so that is a simplified version of the particular solution. That was a particular solution. That, well, uh, that was the particular solution for the problem, but that's a simplified form of that equation. All right. Number four. dy by dx equals y cubed plus one times cos x over y squared. So I want to multiply both sides by the y squared. And I'll also divide both sides by the y cubed plus 1 in order to get those two terms onto the left-hand side. The dy stays where it is. The cosine x stays where it is. But I multiply both sides by the dx. And then I'm ready to integrate. Now, on the left-hand side, uh, this is an example of integrating f, pri f uh, prime over f. OK, so y cubed plus 1 differentiates to 3y squared, which is a multiple of what I've got in the numerator. So I've got a third of what I need. So that would be 1 third log y cubed plus 1. The cosine x integrates to sine x. OK. Now, I could then multiply through by the 3. So that's 3 sine x. Three lots of C, just call it A. OK. So now I'll substitute in the pi over 2, 5. So uh, I'll have log of 5 cubed plus 1, so 126 is equal to 3 lots of sine of pi over 2 plus a. So that's log of 126. Now, sine of pi over 2, thinking about what sine looks like. OK, there's pi. So pi over 2 is at 1. So that's just 3. So a is log of 126 take away 3. OK, so now I can say, whereas that was my general solution, my particular solution will be log y cubed plus 1 is equal to 3 sine x plus log of 126 take away 3. Now, some solutions to differential equations, that's my particular solution, aren't necessarily going to be nice looking. They can look very messy. Don't worry about that. OK, so it's really a case of can you work through the process? Can you manipulate the algebra in order to get 
to the format that the exam paper might want.